In order to find the melting range of a solid, a digimelt and melting point tubes which are closed on only one end are required. The digimelt has many parts. The tube tapper with the tube tapper button, the start temperature button, the ramp rate button, the stop temperature button, the start slash stop button, indicators for the state of digimelt, temperature display, and a place to actually melt the solid, which you can look at through a magnifying glass. In order to load the solid into the capillary tube, turn the capillary tube so that the open end faces the solid and gently press the capillary tube into the solid. Only a small amount of solid is required. Now, place the capillary tube in one of the three tube tapper holes and press the button labeled Tube Tapper. This will bring down the solid to the bottom of the tube. You may have to press it a couple times before this happens. If this does not work, then you may use a glass rod to drop the melting tube through. Next, you will need to prepare the digimelt. Begin by turning on the digimelt. You might or might not have an idea of what your melting range will be. If you are unsure, press start temp and press the down arrow until a low temperature number appears. If you have an idea, press start temp and use the arrows to a temperature below the predicted melting range. Next, set the stop temp to a temperature very high using the arrows, regardless of whether or not you are sure of the melting range. Then, press ramp rate. If this is your first trial or you are unsure of the melting range, Adjust the ramp rate to 5 degrees Celsius per minute or more. For the second trial, or if you know the melting range, set the ramp rate to 1 degree Celsius per minute or 0.5 degrees Celsius per minute for better accuracy. Now, press start and allow the digimelt to preheat. The light will change from preheat to ready. Place the capillary tube into one of the melting holes and press start. Watch the solid through the magnifying glass carefully. Record the temperature when the first droplet forms and the temperature when there is only liquid in the capillary tube. To turn off the digimelt, press stop and allow it to cool. Then press the switch behind the digimelt. 